we can use EQ to shape the tone of our raw mix using a professional master for guidance. The idea is to use it as a guide for setting levels of low, mid and high frequencies. Set your monitoring level to K14 and import Mix K14 and Ref K14 from the Tutorial Files folder. Now add Voxengo Span in K14 metering mode to the master output. Our raw mix and reference have already been leveled to K14, so they match an average level. As noticed in a previous walkthrough, the raw mix lacks low weight compared to the reference. We'll start balancing the tone of our mix by duplicating the mix K14 channel, muting the original, and adding DDMF's IIEQ Pro CM to the duplicate. We'll make a minus 2.5 dB high shelf cut at 149 Hz. Then we'll apply 1.2 dB of makeup gain to bring our process signal up to K14 on spans meter. As our mix is playing, switch between the processed and unprocessed versions. You'll hear the process one already sounds more balanced, but still lacks a little weight and brightness compared to the reference. We'll sort that using Tokyo Dawn Labs Slick EQ, free from tokyodawn.net. Add a fresh instance of Slick EQ, then hit the auto button, bottom right, to disable automatic gain matching, as we'll do that manually. Slick EQ offers a variety of EQ models to choose from, each with their own sound and behaviour. We've gone for British, as it offers a clean, yet warm tone. First, we add some high frequency air with a 3dB boost at 9kHz using the high shelf. This will make our mix as bright as the reference without bringing back the high mid frequencies we've already removed. After this, dial in minus 0.2 dB of gain to bring the overall loudness back to K14. Next, we'll push the low mids out of touch with a 1 dB boost at 600 Hz. This has added a little density to our low mids without increasing the volume level. We add some extra low frequency grunts with a 2 dB low shelf at 125 Hz. Then pull slick EQ's output gain down to minus 1.1 dB to keep the level at K14. When comparing the mix and reference, the relative levels of low, mid, high frequencies are now much closer. Hitting Slick EQ's EQ SAT button adds subtle saturation, gently thickening the sound. <music> Next.
Next, we can choose a different output stage to add further character. Finally, we enhance the stereo width by adding another slick EQ and changing the output type from stereo to difference. A 0.6 dB high shelf at 10 kHz adds crispness to the stereo image, making the process mix even closer to the reference track.